Hi everyone, I'm Roma Fisher. Thank you for tuning to Spirit Alive again. Listen, we've got a great program coming, a great teaching of God. You know, we want, we want you to receive the Word of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, you know, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And everyone that came to Jesus heard the message that God had given His Son Jesus, and He preached the Word of God, He taught the Word of God, and people received because they heard first, and they received second. I want you to receive the Word of God and hear second. We'll pray for you after the program. We'll be right back. The Bible talks about the God kind of faith. And we taught in Bible school the God kind of faith is basically two things. What's in your heart and what's in your mouth. Don't be, you know, don't be complaining that you were a shepherd boy somewhere and nobody noticed you. But God notices you. He knows where to find you if He needs you. So if you're broke now, thank God that riches are coming to you. Begin to say it, even if you don't have a penny. Huh? People say different things. You can't pay attention to people. You can't just pay attention to what everybody else is saying about, about you. So you, know, you read Facebook, and you hear people declaring different things about, you know, I don't care what people say about me, blah, blah, blah. You know they care, <laughs> because they wouldn't be saying it. And, you know, uh, when you, if you post something, uh, don't get mad if somebody says something about it because you post it. It's, it's free. It's, it's a free thing. <laughs> it, if you post it, people are probably going to, uh, you know, say something. So that's why I don't post a lot of things. I don't like getting lick it for nothing. <laughs> I just, you know, if I'm going to post something, I make sure I put God's word on it or something. And let, let you know, let it be. So uh, thank God for... for Free, free uh, you know, press and so on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good place to stop right here. <laughs> and take a breather. So look at this. He shall have whatsoever he said. So what are you going to say about this year? Yeah. What will you say about this year? And we read Psalm 91 last week. We said that Psalm 91, you know, David, <clears throat> you know, we claim, you know, Psalm 91 we claim verse 16 a lot of times. Especially all of us was getting in our 60s. <laughs> when you start losing, uh, different things fall off, you know. Like I was telling you guys, like uh, my, my, my tooth fell out. I was eating caramel. Something soft like that. I'm going, what is this thing? What's my tooth? <laughs> Hair gets, uh, you know, uh, gray and so on. But, and, and so... We say this, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Everybody say, with long life, with long life. Will, I sat will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. See, God, God is, you know, this is David talking about this. He's, he's declared this. He said, with long life, you know, there's a, a Chronicles, I believe, the last uh, chapter of Chronicles says that David died at a good old age, full of riches and honor. And here he wrote this. He said, with long life will I satisfy him. David died in a good old age. About somebody wrote that. David died in a good old age, full of riches and honor. This is what he said before he died. He said, uh, with long life will I satisfy him. God said that, with long life will I satisfy him. Me, David said, and show him his salvation. He said, and he said in there, David died in a good old age, full of riches. So if you're broke now, thank God that riches are coming to you. Begin to say it, even if you don't have a penny. He said, what are you looking at me there? What are you talking about? This is the first thing you ever heard this. So listen, with long life, I want to show you, go to verse 1. Whatever you declare in your life is going to happen this year. You know, we, you know, we wait about, you know, we, we say a lot of things. Oh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go to, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, and, you know, whatever. We say whatever we want to say because we want to do these things. Check it out first. You know, if, if you can do that in accordance to the will of God. And I said to you, you need to dedicate your life to God. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to God. Not just... Uh, you know, uh, just only today, but every day when you get up, say, Lord, this is your life I'm living. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
That's not something that just special people go to. That's for all of us. That's not just for prayer warriors. That's for everybody. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Look at this. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, whatever you say of the Lord in, in your life is going to happen. He said, I will, I will say of the Lord. Well, another uh, you know, a version says, I will declare this of the Lord. I will declare this of the Lord. That he is my refuge. He's your refuge because you're in his shelter. You're in the, in the shadow of the Almighty. You're his fortress. You're in, you're in God. And uh, uh, in him you'll trust. You know, look at, if you look at your life this year, you say, well, how can I ever make it? And sometimes we feel overwhelmed with all the projects and all the financial, uh, you know, whatever we have to do. And uh, we, we, we get afraid and we have pressure because we're looking at things from, from our own vantage point. But when we see it from the Lord's vantage, we say, in God will I trust. Well, he is, first of all, your, your, your Lord. He, he is your refuge and fortress and your God. Every, every project you have, you're going to rely on him. You, you're going to look to him. You're going to put confidence in him. In other words, in other words it says you're going to put confidence in God. You know what Psalm 23 says? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Another version says the Lord is my shepherd. I will not lack for one thing. I'm not going to lack for anything. You, you need to declare this year in, in 2019, you need to declare today that the Lord is my shepherd. And because he's my shepherd, I'm not going to lack one thing. I'm not going to lack for the grace to do what I'm supposed to do, any project. I know I'm not gifted in this area. But God said it. I'm going to do it. Whatever he said I'm going to do, I'm going to do. And check it out. If God didn't tell you to do something, then back off and say, hey, listen, you know, I don't feel like this is what God wants me to do. It's easy enough to find out what God wants you to do. Just go to the Bible and find out what he says to do and pray, pray in the Holy Ghost and, and pray whatever, whatever uh, you know, uh, comes out of you, whatever uh, impressions come out of you, the Spirit of God is talking to you. He's going to lead you. He says, uh, in him will I trust. And if you're going uh, to declare things, you say, I'm going to declare this in Jesus' name, that he is my source. According to the word of God, Philippians 4.19, he, you know, he shall supply all my needs. All my needs. Now, you know, specifically speaking, that fourth chapter in Philippians 4.19, that's specifically talking about those who people who give financially to the church. That's what it's talking about in there. Now, we use that generally, that God supplies all our needs, but specifically speaking, that scripture is talking about those who is giving into missions. Giving into working of a minute. I mean, back then, they had, had no local churches. They were, they were just starting out, planting churches. Paul was planting churches. And for those, the Philippians 4, 19, is talking about when you give, come here, Faith City Church, and you drop off uh, financially to say, you know, thank God, uh, because I'm taking care of God's house. He's going to take care of my house. I'm not going to lack for one thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some say, well, that's pretty good, huh? Hip, hip, hooray. Thank God. <laughs> no, just get that in your spirit and believe God. If anything comes up, you say, you know, if anything hard comes up, just ask yourself again, what does God say about it? Yeah. I'm going to declare what God says about it. He says that, uh, you know, uh, in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that, I'm, that I prosper, be in health, even as uh, my soul prospers. I think you said something about, you know, uh, this year I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declare uh, you know, prosperity in my life. You know, you could have poverty mentality, have lots of money in your pocket, you could still be poverty mentality. You need to have a, a, a spirit of uh, prosperity in your, in, your, in your being. I wonder if this is helping someone. I'm trying to cheerlead you. Amen? Uh, you know, uh, we, we had our worship leader cheer us on a little bit. She did a great job. How many people think she did a great job? Yeah. One clap. That's all you're going to get. Well, we're just going to praise God anyway, amen? Yeah, yeah we're going to you know, thank God for it. I mean, 
I mean, she doesn't, uh, you know, uh, thank God we can get claps once in a while. But we don't do it for claps anyway, right? That's what I tell people, you know, like, you know, uh, whether they whether they enjoying this or not, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> you know, if they don't say amen, I just keep going. Somebody's going to like something somehow, somewhere, somehow. And so we thank God for that no matter what. Hallelujah. Now we're going to get into my message. <laughs> I was just <laughs> saying these things because I believe you need to hear these. We'll just get into some things here. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're, you know, we talked about being sustained in 2019 last, last time we were together. Are we going to be sustained? If we're, if we're going to be sustained, we talked about that Psalm 91, the last verse we said, you know, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. You know, we need to start getting satisfied in the Lord. The reason why you're not getting satisfied is because you're probably not in the will of God. You're not serving God, first of all. We need, we need to find out where we're not serving God. Maybe there's an area in your life you open up. Because sometimes, you know, what happens is that some people just let a door open to the devil. The devil just needs a little crack. I wanted to say something here, but uh, I'm not going to say it. The devil, the devil wants to just, you know, he wants to. The Bible says don't give the devil any room. Do you remember that scripture? Where's it found? Don't give them any room, right? The Bible says in Ephesians, right? 427. Don't give the devil an opportunity to come in your life and steal what you have, what you're enjoying. The Bible says that we need to enjoy life, have some heaven on earth. Amen? We need to have that in our lives. We need to enjoy like we're, you know, Jesus taught his disciples, you know, thy will be done, you know, and, and, and so forth. He prayed, prayed that our Father which art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, we can pray, we can enjoy some heaven here. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's enjoy something. Let's take a day off today. Amen. So say, it is my day out. <laughs> and I'm at church here. <laughs> I, I'm lost over here. What happened to my notes? Maybe I should. It's been better without any notes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Anita must have took my notes. Okay. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Hi, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the program. You know, 2 Corinthians 4 and 13 says, we having the same spirit of faith. I believe if you're watching today, you know, if you're a born again Christian, you have that same spirit of faith in you, like Paul, and uh, he's quoting there the psalmist. And, uh, you know, all of us in the Christian faith, uh, if we believe in Jesus Christ, we have that same spirit of faith. The Bible says that when we receive Jesus, the spirit of faith comes inside of our hearts. And we believe with our hearts. We believe with our spirit, we believe on the inside. We don't walk by sight. We believe the word of the living God. And when we believe the word of God, we speak the word of God out of our mouths. And I believe to you right now that wherever you are, I'm believing right now by the spirit of God that you're healed, that you're blessed, that you're going to come out of every difficulty and trial. I want to encourage you today to speak the word of God over your own lives, over your situation, and you'll see the thing change and turn around for the good. We'll be right back uh, after the program, and we're going to pray for you. And uh, watch this. If you're in the Thunder Bay area, we'd like to invite you to one of our live services right here at Bay City Church in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Service times are Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pastor Roma Fisher ministers a practical word that will inspire your faith. We look forward to seeing what God has in store for you. Okay. Amen. <clears throat> All right. We're, 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 we're going to get there. We're going to get there. 
Okay. Now, Jesus did pray in Matthew 6.10. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we're going we're gonna to declare God's will in 2019. Amen. And so we're sure to get what God says, or, what, you know, if we're going to declare, we're going to prophesy over 2019. I'm saying this because God gave me this. He says, reigning in 2019. We reign, I reign in 2019. I'm declaring it. God's already declared it, so I'm going to declare it as well. I'm going to declare it. I'm going to say what God says about my life. So we showed you. I want to show the other people who were not here last week. How many people weren't here last week? Okay, let's show them the scripture. Let's go to uh, the, uh, what is it, uh, Romans 5, 17. Let's go to Romans 5, 17. So all of you people that are watching online, for if by one man's offense, death reign. Death reign. I want you to see that death reign. When, when Adam sinned, the Bible says that Satan became the god of this world. I believe it's uh, Genesis 2 and 17. God told Adam, he says, if you, uh, uh, if, you dis- if you partake of this tree, you will die. He's talking about spiritual death. Then eventually physical death. So death came into, came into this is what uh, this is talking about over here in uh, Romans, uh, uh, you know, 5.17. He's talking about, he's referring to that. So, so Romans 5.17 is for by one man's death, uh, one man's offense. That's talking about Adam, death reign. In other words, that's, that's the Satan and his crowd. They start to dominate because in Genesis 1, 27, 28, God gave man dominion. He gave him kingship. Dominion refers to having a kingship, to, you know, having your own ability to, uh, to declare different things, to reign and rule. So, so he, when this man sinned, let us go over to Genesis uh, chapter 1, uh, chapter 2, verse 27. Let's go over here, Genesis chapter, did we find that? We'll come back to this scripture. For, for of the tree of the knowledge of good and, li- good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou shalt eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's talking to Adam. How, how many people know that he did partake of it, and he ate it, and the Bible says that in this according to the scripture, he died. He didn't die physically. He died spiritually. So in other words, his spirit was estranged from God. It was separated from God. Though he, his, spirit was, his spirit was still in there, in his body, but he was separated from, from his father, from, from, from God. And so we see that in the scripture. He, did, he didn't die until many, many, many years later. So he's talking about spiritual death. And that's why, uh, you know, Romans uh, uh, 3, 3.23 says that death passed on to all men. Death passed to all men, for all have died and come short of the glory of God. All men have died. Everybody, everybody has died. We all, die, we all have died. And so thank God that we can be born again and live again. That we're not going to be dominated by, by the devil. We're not going to be dominated by, by Satan. None of us should be afraid of the devil. You should be afraid of yourself more than the devil because you make more trouble and then blame the devil for doing it for yourself. Oh, that devil's done it. No, you, you're the one that did it. Well, he's been spending all my money. No, he's, you've been using those credit cards. Amen. Oh, that devil. Pray for my money. Pray for my finances, Pastor. The devil's been attacking it. Okay, let's talk about who the devil is. And we found out you're the devil that's doing that. Now, look at this. Go back again to Romans. Romans 5, 17. I'm going to close in a few minutes. There's going to be a big bang in here. (laughs) Amen. For by one man's offense, it's talking about that man way back there. I keep thinking about this. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, 28. So we've got to go back there. Sorry about that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, 28. Okay, there it is. 
So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created he him. Male and female created uh, he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, how many people know that the blessing of God is upon our lives? Okay, so be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. How many people know that the earth was destroyed before this whole thing happened? That's why there's dinosaurs. People say, how come the earth is only this many years? Dinosaurs, oh, you know, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion. Listen, have dominion over uh, the sea and over all the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moves upon earth. And God said, behold, I've given... Okay, we won't go to that one. So I know I rule and reign over my dog. He knows that. <laughs> <laughs> That's in there. You know? he, doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to do certain things. So I tell you, come on, do this. You do, he won't do it. But he's going to have to do it today. <laughs> I found scripture. <laughs> I'm going to sit down with him at the table and tell him today, listen... I found scripture. You have to obey me. <laughs> I've been batching it since my wife left. You know, I've been uh, wishing somebody would invite me for dinner or something. <laughs> I didn't advertise it. I, I've been trying to feed this dog for like how many days, several days. And we're going, now, so we see here that man was given dominion to, to his, his man Adam and his wife. They had dominion together. But then we see, go back again to Romans uh, 5.17. So they lost their place, which reminds me of 2 Corinthians 4, 4, that the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. Satan is the God of this world. In other words, he can move in this realm to disturb your peace. And so that's why Romans 5, 17 says hey, we, we rule in this life. What are you going to rule over? Well, there's only three things that you can rule over. Now, let's, let's look at this. For, we, for by man, one man's offense, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace. You just didn't receive one grace. You receive a, this huge abundance of grace. Yeah. Look at this. And the gift of righteousness shall reign with this abundance of grace and this gift of righteousness shall reign in life, in this life, the Amplifier says, in this life, we rule with this gift of righteousness in this life. We rule and reign. And the way you reign is start declaring what God says about you. You're a king in your own life. Say what God says about you. Find out from the scripture what he says about you and then prophesy that over your own life. Are you guys okay? Okay, because I see some sides rolling over. So rule and reign, the gift of righteousness. So we, we're reigning. So that's where I'm getting this from, because the Lord said to me that you reign. So we need to get some songs about reigning, not uh, gimmoon. Not, not raining water coming down from the sky. We're talking about reigning, you know? So, so... Reigning in this life. So we reign, we rule, and the king will rule by what they say. We need to declare this year what's going to happen. Find scriptures. I want you to write this down. And you're, and you're, wherever you're writing this down, say, say, I'm going to find scriptures for every area of my life that I'm having difficulty right now. I'm going to write this down. Write, write this down right now. Just say, I'm going to, I'm going to find scriptures of areas where I'm, I'm lacking. And began to say, thank God, I'm ruling over this right now. Thank God. No matter how you feel, God says, I'm well. According to the word of God, I'm well. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 61 says, every sickness and every disease is the curse of the law. But thank God, Galatians 3.19 says that I've been redeemed from sickness. And therefore, I no longer have this disease. Thank God. The Lord God says that I've been, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. That I have prosperity. That God has blessed me with all things that pertain to this life. Amen? First Timothy you know, 6, 17 says that God wants to bless me with everything that I can enjoy in this life. I'm going to enjoy life this time. 
I heard Pastor Steve is building a, a, another, uh, uh, what is it, another garage. <laughs> and he's making, a, a, how many skidoos do you have now, brother? Three, three in a year. Well, three more are coming. <laughs> hey, amen. He's going to have a, you know, a, a, he's going to have a fleet of them for every, every, every day. Shantai, tie my bow tie. Amen? Thank God. You know what? That's what he wants. He wants skidoos. That's what he enjoys. For me, I, I, I don't enjoy skidoos, so I don't have one. I, I... Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the program. I'm trusting God that the Word of God went deep into your heart. As you open up your heart and mind, God is changing your situation. Let me pray with you right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I believe every person right now that is standing in faith for their loved ones, for their physical healing, for their finances, for situations to change that would help them relax and enjoy life more. I believe that God wants to change that situation. So I'm agreeing with you right now in Jesus' name. That office situation will change. I believe that physical situation in your body will change. I believe your mind will change. I believe your family situation, your relationship will change because God is for you and not against you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I confer a special blessing to my family and friends in the name of Jesus because they're my partners and we are agreeing together. You said if we agree on earth, it shall be done. So Father, in the name of Jesus, it is done because I'm speaking it and they're speaking it and we agree and it shall be thus and so, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Write to us. Tell us about your testimony of how God changed your situation. And uh, we'll be happy to hear your testimony because we'll be blessed together with you. And you can, you can get us on YouTube or you can get me anytime if you want to be a, a, a faith friend with me on uh, Facebook. Uh, you can become a friend with me. I would like to be your friend and pray personally for you and uh, find me up on, on Facebook. Uh, we'll see you next time. God bless you. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Thanks for watching Spirit Alive. For those in the Thunder Bay area, our broadcasts are taped live at Faith City Church, 360 Black Bay Road, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Service times Wednesday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 10.30 a.m. We look forward to meeting you.